three, two, one, let's go. Hey family, Bro Adam here with a video. So today is Friday, October the 21st, and I pray all you guys are having a blessed day. If you happen to be new to this channel, on this channel, we're watching and waiting for the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, so family, keep your eyes on the sky, because our redemption draws nigh. Okay family, so I hadn't planned on doing a video today, but when I saw this, it all changed. Family, this is huge right here. Okay, on Israel365news.com, it's being reported that the Russian and Syrian governments announced that they are moving on to the next stage in reconstructing the ancient temple of the pagan god Baal in Palmyra. Guys, the same Baal that Elijah embarrassed all their false prophets and showed them that no one is more powerful than the Most High God, that Baal. Now, if this project is completed, the project will mark the third time that this blasphemy has been rebuilt. Now guys, according to the Talmud, the Arch of Palmyra may be alluded to as a harbinger of the Messianic era. An arch that is repeatedly built up and destroyed is described in the Talmud. So guys, what this will ultimately do is give the rabbis something else to use to say that, hey, our Messiah is about to come. Family, they are truly paving the way for this coming false Messiah. Now, this arch that they're going to rebuild stood at the entrance to the temple used to worship Baal. And it's mentioned more than 90 times in the Bible. Most notably, when Elijah defeated the prophets of Baal. Now, Baal was a huge pagan idol. And guys, here recently, the world has seen a resurgence of Baal worship. Now, in regards to this arch, the Director General of Antiques and Museums had this to say. And I quote, the tri-party joint agreement signed on Wednesday finds for the next stage represented in rebuilding the Arch of Triumph after the end of the first stage funded by the Syrian Trust for Development. So what's going on here is we have both Russia and Syria pumping money into this project. Now restoration work began in 2021, but now they have all the funds and resources needed to rebuild this arch. Now, replicas of this arch has been built and displayed in cities all across the world. They actually had a replica of it in New York City a couple years ago. Now, the spot where they're building this, Palmyra, it is located 135 miles north of Damascus. And this spot was actually drawing over 100,000 visitors a year to the conflict broke out in Syria in 2011. And then the Islamic State took out the rest of it in 2015. Okay, family, so what we have here is this. After six years of laying in ruin, the Russians have begun reconstructing the triumphal arch of Palmyra in Syria, which was a major gateway to the temple that they used to go and worship the false god of Baal. And the rebuilding of this arch is predicted in the Talmud as preceding the Messiah. Wow. Family, this is huge. Now, while I was reading this article, which will be linked in the description box, I truly couldn't help to wonder if this could ultimately lead to the Isaiah 17 prophecy concerning Damascus. You can't do stuff like this and not expect the Most High to have a response. So not only are they building the blasphemy called the Abrahamic Family House in the UAE, now they're also reconstructing this blasphemy right here that you see on your screen. Family, we are truly living in the end times. Now, guys, like I said, this world has seen a major resurgence of Baal worship. Nothing new under the sun. Baal worship is a road that will lead you straight to hell, calling it like it is. The only way, and I mean the only way to the Most High God, is found through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The worship of Baal will not get you to heaven. And this person that the rabbis are meeting with and that they're about to proclaim as Messiah, I can promise you, 100%, it is not the Messiah. And yes, the Talmud does talk about an arch being rebuilt before Messiah arrives. Family, what's going on with that is Satan is paving the way for this upcoming false Messiah. The Talmud is not the word of the Most High God. But they are right about something. Messiah is coming. But Messiah is coming to rapture his church. And the Messiah, Jesus Christ, will touch back down on earth one day. And when Messiah does come back and touch down on earth, Jesus Christ, he will be setting up his millennial reign. 
But family, what's really sad is many Jewish people, they will bow down and worship this upcoming false Messiah and continue to reject the true Messiah, Jesus. Any more news coming out about this arch, I will report it to you guys. This is a big deal right here. Now, my beautiful family, in my humble opinion, it has never been more apparent that we are living in the biblical last days. Everything, and I mean everything, that Jesus said would be taking place prior to his return, it's all happening in this generation. It's all converging in this generation, the fig tree generation, the generation that will not pass away. Family, the way Bible prophecy is converging, it's unprecedented. It has never converged like this before. Jesus is coming soon. And family, that's why the message of the gospel is so important in these end times. And as always, let me close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. Family, the message of the gospel is simple. What happens is man comes along. They twist the gospel. They want to add works to it. And family, it just don't work that way. According to scripture found in our Bible, Jesus was born of a virgin and family, Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. Jesus lived his entire life without ever once sinning. That's why Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. And at the age of 30, Jesus started his earthly ministry. And guys, in a matter of three years, Jesus changed the entire world forever. And family, Jesus did. Because guys, here we are, nearly 2,000 years later, still talking about our Jesus, still singing praises to our Jesus. And then family, at the age of 33, and the biggest act of love that humanity has ever seen or will ever see, Jesus was nailed on that cross. Jesus had a crown of thorns placed upon his head. Jesus spilled his perfect, innocent blood for the remission of our sins. My sins, your sins, your mama's sins, everybody's sins. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. Then Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At the third day, he busted that tomb wide open. Hey, family, no tomb could hold our Messiah. Then Jesus ascended to go be with the Father. And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what is it we're looking for? It's that Titus 2.13, Blessed Hope. And guys, world events and Bible prophecy is declaring the intimate return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family, stay with that full armor of God and keep on looking up because our redemption draweth nigh. Well, my beautiful family, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to share it. It helps out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. And if any of you guys have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below. Myself or someone from the prayer team, man, we'd be honored to pray over your prayer requests. And please keep the Watchman Street team in your prayers. Sunday we'll be hitting the streets. We'll be going out to minister to the homeless. So your prayers will be greatly appreciated. And if any of you guys need a totally free King James Version Bible, email me. It's in the description box below. I'd be happy to send you a free Bible. I think everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. And as always, if you want to contribute to one of our outreach programs, check the description box below. There's ways you could do so. All contributions either go to the Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach. Please pray about it first. Well, till next time, Watchman Adam signing out. I will see you in the Israel news update this coming Sunday. I love you guys and keep on looking up.